welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today in my never-ending quest to fix stupid, we should probably change this series to my quest to fix stupid, but anyways, here's what we're going to try to do again. They're back at it. They used to go downhill into um, a guardrail and they would take out the guardrail. So we put flashing solar um, chevrons in there that, you know, blink in sequence around there and there's an advance warning sign that starts blinking 15, 15. Fine, no more accidents. So now they decided to go uphill and hit everything. So I'll show you a couple little uh, little short video on what the problem is and how we're going to fix it. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this exciting episode of Bob the Sideman. Okay, here's the problem I was telling you we're, we're having here. I'll, I'll show you a little demo here. This is off of Google Earth. Um, so this is a turn up in an in, unincorporated area of Napa County called Deer Park. And you can see in 2016, we had this type of sign. And up the road here, a little ways, it goes down. And there was some chevrons down here. And they, uh, they kept hitting them, uh, hitting the guardrail, I should say. So what we did is we, uh, you know, more accidents occurred. Um, we decided to, here's the old sign. So we decided to upgrade it. And here's the system we installed. It is a flashing sign. This whole um, outside of the sign will blink when a car approaches it. There's a little radar unit up here. So it's all solar powered. And what it does, it communicates with the um, blinkers down the road here. Okay. So as you go down the road now, this might jump in and out a little bit on some uh, Google Earth always seems to. Um, and this was the old scene that we had here where they were just the regular chevrons. And then we updated it into this now where they have the flashing signs, the flashing um, solar signs. Let's see if I can get up here a little further. So once this sign up here flashes, it sends a relay to these and they all blink in sequence and they'll just follow along like this. And it reduced our crashes. We hardly had any crashes on the downhill side. Uh, I have this big sign here. And, you know, everything was working good for a while until this happened. So they started crashing going uphill. And this is what the result. Okay, they weren't coming down the hill anymore in this direction with our new solar lights in. They were coming uphill and crashing. So what we did... So we said, okay, this might be an isolated case. So we installed another sign like this on the other side of the road. So there's two of them now. Of course, this is an older Google Earth, Earth, Google Earth image, so it's not updated. So that happened. Still, they came. They crashed through the guardrail. They crashed through the signs. Left them laying in the dirt. Um, just total carnage. So what we decided to do is let me see if I can find one of the pictures is we um, installed one of these still they came we had two in one week crash through it so we installed this and you can see the post sticking out at the top of the sign we're going to put a flashing light on so I'll show you what we did today we finally installed the flashing light to get, try to get rid of some of this carnage so I'll show you a little video clips on our installation process and how we think this is going to help a lot more. Um, so this is the light that was resurrected from the dead. It got hit several times and it needed some extra parts in it. They're about $1,100. I found a little relay that was bad in there from another sign that I had put it in and it works just fine. We're going to install it up on this hairpin because of the uh, amount of people that crash into this turn. So it's going to go up on top of the uh, 15 Junior sign assistant was, hey, he's going to install it. Ready, Jose? Ready. Okay, my never ending quest to fix stupid. We had these people coming up the hill. 
It's a 15 mile an hour warning signs. I put them on both sides of the road. You can see them facing opposite of us. So they come up here and they crash into the guardrail. They've taken it out several times. They took out a light one time and that is a, uh, about a $1,200 light that they take out. Actually, it's 1200 plus the hardware. I think we ended up spending about $2,300 for one of those flashing chevrons coming down the hill. So Jose, my sign assistant, he's gonna be installing a flashing beacon that we resurrected, I showed you a little bit earlier. Um, it just needed a relay, so we put a relay in it. And he's gonna install the flashing light up on top. Uh, it's behind the guardrail. Hopefully it'll, it'll slow people down enough to where they won't be hitting it all the time. So you can see they come around this corner. This is up here at Deer Park. Uh, Deer Park, California is kind of an unincorporated area in Napa County and it's on the way up to uh, what they call Angwin. There's a PUC college up there. And when the people come down in the uh, rain, they, they hit the guardrail all the time. So we got the downhill side fixed pretty good. Now we've got the warning signs with the chevron. But they want to keep hitting that uh, guardrail coming up the hill because they don't know it's a turn. So hopefully this will help. And then we've got, as soon as this is done, uh, this summer we're going to be putting thermal plastic down and doing the lines up here a little bit better. So hopefully this is going to work out. And I'll show you the end result when we're done. Okay, after a few modifications, we're back at it again. Jose will be up there installing the flashing light. And uh, he's had a little clearance problems with the uh, brackets lining up. So we had to take them down and do a little modification in the field. Nothing we can't handle though. Should have it up and working in no time now. I'll show you the end result when we're All done. Alright, there we go. Jose's got the light in there. He's just um, securing the boom truck that we used to put the light on. It's flashing away and hopefully it'll draw a little bit more attention to this curve and they'll stop crashing through it. So just keep my fingers crossed and hope it works. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching.